Did he do his bearings and the grease on him? I don't know, not that far. Are we filming this, Don? Yeah, you're filming now. Okay. You're recording. Whatever we want, didn't see, too bad. See, I'm going to check our alignment here and see what I think we have. Drop your grip thing in the floor. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the offset of our primary chain relative to the vehicle. And if you notice, we're only off by about a half inch. That's not too much, is it? That's not too good. I'm thinking that the tranny needs to be adjusted somewhat. It's kind of hard to do this while it's crashing away in this car. Bunch of. <clears throat> Helped a lot getting the hubbard along. Looks a lot closer now. Tapers are so screwed up you can't tell where anything is at. All right. See how much that bounced around? Yep. He's not in. Be my guess. It's in the shaft, though. Slid it out. Oh, get to show it again. Not really, because I can't even see the key. The key's not in there now. I have to try to line the key up and hold it. A really skinny finger. And my finger's right now too fat now. So I'm trying to show you a screwdriver. A bit tighter. Now you look down inside of here. See the key down there? Yep. Yep. See so the end of it. You got to go in. If you can see the key in flat like that, you know it's in there correctly. If you can't see the key or if you see part of a tip, you know it's in there sideways. Okay. And it's also fitting in there pretty good now. Okay. We did not fix the seal, so we need to fix it right now. So if we're lucky, we'll be able to reuse this. If not, we use another one. So I'm beating the seal out right now. I don't like using a steel hammer. Where's my plastic hammer? I'm tired of beating the damn screwdriver. So you're pushing an angle like this because you're trying to push yep. on the outer edge. Right. You could put it in a vise. Yeah, you could. Then I have to walk all the way to the vise. And Yeah, slowly. That's in there pretty good. Usually they just fall out. Yep. Come to the center of the seal is not how you want to do it. Now it's starting to come. See that coming out? Yep. There it is. Seal away. Looks like it was okay. Yeah, it didn't hurt it too bad. Plot a little extra rubber out of it. Okay, now we push it back in. Okay, no, no, let's hang it. Okay, so the point we were making is that the spring is on this side. You can see that. If you can see the spring on the outside, you got it wrong. So the spring's going on the inside. It's going to tap that in there gently. The best way to do that is to uh, use a something solid like that. This is not solid. I thought you were gonna knock it in with a socket. No, I do it flat. Then I put a socket on it. I don't have a socket in front of me because there's no sockets over here. Oh, they're really? all somewhere else. The bucket's right there. It's a drum your five A's. Four nine sixteens. And there's your grip rubber you didn't put back up on it. I just dude, you ain't doing nothing. You've done nothing the whole time we've been. This is too big. So, okay, now it's in correctly. 
You can grip rubber you want. Turn correctly. Go in the right direction. Okay. I'm gonna put this on. Where's our lock tab? I'm gonna make sure the lock tab still has a titty on it. Usually they disappear as soon as I torque them anyway. Pliers, tools. Somebody figured they need every lock tab bent up for some reason. It only takes one. Just taking them out. Yeah, at least a little bit, all the, not all the way. See if I can turn it, maybe. Yeah, it's still gonna work. Flat them all the way up. Screw it. Now they're going to turn it. Okay, you gotta make sure you put this all the way against the, against the key slot there. Of course it won't stay there, so you put the nut in there, it'll start turning anyway. You just think you're doing something by doing it this way. And then this is left-handed going in. That's correct. Where's my grease? My grease? We use oil. I don't know. I don't have time to go looking. We use oil. It was right here. Move your seal. We're ready to lubricate the threads of the red lock tight. So it looks like he's taking it off, but it's actually going on. It is. It's and the lock hasn't moved yet either, you know. Oh, there goes the lock. This is one of the lefty, lefty loosey, pretty tighty, it's opposite. And the lock tab is not going to cooperate by being where it needs to be. Put this in there now. Yeah, we got in the right spot finally. Yeah. Yep. Yep, pretty tight. <laughs> loosening it. Getting really good there for a minute. Okay, tab is in there. No, it is not. Where is it? Yeah, it's in there. It just fits loose like that. Okay. This is where it shears it right off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Because I torque them down. So the hub looks like it's going halfway straight. That's a really good side. Straight. That's a really good side. Just left by chance, which is very, very unlikely, that that tab has still got a tab on the other side. We'll go ahead and put the tab the lock down. And just put one down. Yeah, I put the one that matters down. Yeah. The one that's on the flat. But more likely, that tang is long since gone because without torque it out and up, it just rips it right off. Right. I'll test your little uh, straight edge in. Time. I suspect it's probably a lot better than it's a lot better than it was, yes. Yeah, so it's still off by a little bit, but still close. Still got a workbench down there somewhere. Okay, what do we got for a chain? This is Dan's favorite chain. It's almost no clearance in it, so it should be good. See, you can't videotape it. I'm over here like that. And it's yep. looking at my elbow. It's a waste of time videotaping. So see the chain is nice and tight. So that means it's only half worn out or three quarter. So we look at all the rollers and make sure they're not broken. You see they got split rollers and solid rollers. Now, if you notice this is a solid roller chain and that that roller is a split. So that means whatever roller I was looking at that was split, right there is a bad roller. So this chain here is on its way to being broken. Did you hear that, Dan? I heard it. Yeah, some more split rollers. So there's a lot of split rollers in there. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. Well, there are some that are not split, though, so they wouldn't be mixing them, would they? I don't know. Or maybe I'm not seeing all of them. No, I think you're you're missing it. They're, they're split rollers. Yeah, these are all split. They're all too nice a cut and nice a... Yeah. Some of these are not split. Some chains are. This one here is a cheap chain, so it's split ruler. Got it to swap meet. Yep, got it to swap meet. Got it cheap at swap meet. Cheaper yep. than the cheap. But they're not broken yet, so they're going to still decent. It'll work for you. <laughs> not for me. I'd break it. <laughs> yeah, Loctite's working already. Put some more on there because I didn't do it yet.
<laughs> I've never seen anybody put Loctite on those before. Well, some people drive hotter than others. I've seen them put grease on it before. We haven't greased any yet. I'm gonna find my grease, by the way, because I need to use my grease. Where is it? Grease, I put it over on the other side. Oh, Dan, it's over there. No, right side. here. Oh, here's your damn grease. Oh. Not your damn grease, but your... We asked about that earlier. Nobody said Okay, what are we looking at now? You're getting ready to show me something. Well, I'm going to put some grease on this because I didn't have any grease before. Now i got some grease. So, this grease is old and crappy. It's on these rollers. So, we're just going to put some more on top of it. Yeah. It's all going to wind up in the clutch plate anyway. So, but you don't want to just leave it dry. And anti seize doesn't work either because it gets hard and doesn't work. Go. So that's as much as it's going to get. Okay, got to make sure the key goes where it belongs. Key is up. And is I'm lucky the transmission's far enough forward I can get this on. That will have to do something. Paint it fit. All right. That's not going to fit though. Hmm? Turning has to move forward. Too far back. Well, that sucks. No, it doesn't. That's tight. Okay. That's too far forward, so it doesn't work. And too far back. This is too far forward. That's too far back. This has got grease in the cable. Clean the grease off. Okay, so go there and get the training adjuster. The 916 French. Don't leave the camera hanging around. Can't videotape with the camera sitting on Here, Dano, take over. Alright, bucket. 916. Working on it. Oh, there's a washer that we lost. Find it? Yep, right there. Yeah, good. Oh, it on top of the chain where it doesn't belong? It's on top of the transmission. Yeah, it's about for it. It's pretty trash, anyhow. Yeah, that's why I put that one on it. Somebody over torque it. It wouldn't be you, would it? No. So why is this, is this transmission tightened down or what? No. Moving over there? Is anything moving over there? You probably have to loosen up the, uh, the, the rear, spr rear sprocket. Okay. Tools. Now we have access to get to the training notch. Need a 916 socket. Got a 916 socket pulled around here? One. Excuse me. Here we go. Yep. They're not uh, tight. Hmm? They're not tight. They're not tight. Is it moving over there? No. Probably the rear chain holding it. We got it. Let's go film Fred over there. Didn't we put we spray painted? Painted the plate so. It's probably stuck. Well, whatever it is, it's got to move, so. Yeah. You keep working. Yeah. Okay, so that's the uh,
stuff in those. It's going forward now. Okay, keep going. So I'm doing. You tell me to stop. Not too good and loose. I got a lot of noise over them too. Is it still loose? Or tight? No, oh, can't get it on yet. I'm getting some tools in the way so I can work. Probably the rear, rear wheel needs to be loosened. Just pulling it all forward. Mm -hmm. the chain's probably tighter and shit now. Oh yeah, this chain's real tight. Chain tight? Chain is super tight. Let me get the young jump the after because it's equally on both sides here. Yep. I okay. loosen the lock nut. The chain's real tight. Hey, the chain's tight. You got that loose? The axle's loose. I don't have a half inch or 7 sixteenths to do the axle or 9 half inch. Yeah, yeah. 9 sixteenths and 7 sixteenths to all the How many flasks did you move it? I didn't, I didn't move it yet. See that I'm hitting 12, yeah. 13, 14, 15. Damn, my hand's cramping up. Okay, that's on. I'm going to change loose. See, we just barely got it on. Once it goes on, we got lots of clearance. Okay, good. Everything's moving. We gotta line everything up anyway. This is well we loosened it. The wheel I thought was round out with eyeballs. Duplicate. Eyeball was, it was eyeballed and it was open. We'll duplicate it and then we'll know what it is. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the turn bolts down slightly. So at least they're up to the gap in them. Why don't you go ahead and put that fifth bolt up in the hole where it belongs? Yeah, sure. Got us changed as I was starting to turn. Uh -huh. Get a little light over there. Well, tell me when you're done, because I can't tighten this while you keep it in my damn hand. I'm just doing all the water bolts up. That's not it. There's the bolt. That one's tight. Back it off. Okay. You got a star or you want some help? I got it. Just gotta get the freaking oil on it out of way. You know what I didn't see? You can't see anything I'm doing because everything's up underneath. Ooh, look at Fred looking at me. Oh, man, don't get my hand up, damn kid. Look at that, he's up there working. Let me get some light so you can fingers can see what you're doing. Does that help? No. Freaking hand. You can't see anything, Fred. Uh, now you can. I can't see a thing except the frame up under there. Well, when, put the, put the camera coming around this side, then you'll see it. Biking away. Where's that feather bolt that way? Turn around. I'm gonna get that other nut. Is that this one? 
There it is. <laughs> right, that one's tight. Back it off a little. Okay, four nuts are up. Gets the frame but not tight. Right, let me see if I can get this socket out. Of this. Oh, yeah. Hey, got it. Yeah, you can see a socket, still can't see a nut. Well, you, you could see it before. You know. well, I think you're perfectly hiding it so we can't see what you're doing. You want it snug or you want it? Pull off before it turns into the tranny. Yeah, I got it. Okay, that's good. I didn't even touch it. I saw you move your hand. What are you doing? Go ahead. I said a quarter turn. I heard a bunch of clicking. That's more than a quarter turn. The tranny has to be pulled flat down so we know where the tranny's at. If, you, if it's hanging up in the air, it won't be there. You gotta have all the nuts just close to the frame but nothing can move it. Why'd the bike drop? Because it's this. Is that too long for you? Yes. Okay, we'll take it off. For me, I use it. Yes, I understand it. I have a shorter one if you need one in between. You need one in between? No, I got it. Okay, good job. Tight. One quarter loose. That's it. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now you can move your axle adjuster, which is somewhere on that other side. I can't even see it. You mean the transmission adjuster? Yeah, that one too. You said an axle adjuster. It's it's close. Transmission. It was tranny. It was connected to an axle, wasn't it? I need nine sixteenths. <laughs> I need nine sixteenths. Right here. Nine sixteenths. See the chain's a little loose here, down. See? That's no good. That's too loose. Right, Something in between that and tight is what we need. Okay, so what do you think about this primary chain? Is it any good? It's used. It'll work. <laughs> Usable. <laughs> it, it'll work for you. You, you, should, you, should, you should have heard him about the rear chain. Here, you can film that a bit. Oh, he thinks oh, no, the rear chain is... Yeah, i already been there done that. You've already done the rear chain? Yeah. i got to find some clutches for you. I have them. I've got them all right there. I'm starting to tighten I've got them all right there, Jason. I'm starting to tighten it up now. So you only got an inch and a half of free play, so you're almost there. I'm tightening it up now. Here we go. I can see the chain moving. There's four green ones. That's it's moving. Look at that. Pretty good. Is there any drag on that nut? Yeah, it's slight. Well, no. Now there is. Well, I haven't done anything yet. So. Okay, it's the same drag as the other drag. Okay, slow down. One more, though. Stop. One more. Stop. Okay, that's about where it should be. Okay, until we turn the motor over, we don't know what we need yet. Okay, leave it at that. Okay, we're gonna find some clutches. Now, here's the clutches that you had down. Yeah, what's wrong with them? You had one of these plates, I think it was a green one. You had these stock thick-ass steel ones in here. What's wrong with those? So you had a three-plate clutch, which is supposed to be three big fat ones, and then a half plate. Okay, okay so, so I need one fat one, that's it. Which you don't have, you only have two fat ones. See the difference between these two? Yeah. So, you know, so that's a stock system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shit can these in this half plate. Why the half plate? These springs here are the late 68 and up style spring that takes five, four plates. We're going to go to a five plate system, which works better anyway. So we got a full set of four here that are green. You got lazy on doing that one. You need to clean it all. Mm. And then we got some brown ones over here, which are a different brand. So, I like that one. That's nice. I'll go with that set right there. So that gives us five plates now, which gives us more clutch area. And it should work good. Now, these are your steel plates. This one here is a little bit rough, kind of like that concrete was we're using. So we're not going to use it. This one here looks okay. Now, I'm assuming they're not warped, because I can't, I don't have a straight edge with me. So, I, I think they're good. You can just kind of eyeball them see they're straight. So these are straight, so we're going to use these. This one's got some rust now, we're okay. Where's those other ones I've right? yeah. Here's some nice cherry ones I dug out of my valuable used clutch pile. So we're gonna pick we're gonna pick two of these out of this pile. This one's starting to gouge up a little bit. I still don't know what's wrong with that one. So the one saw green. Yeah. This one looks like yeah. this. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Well it's supposed to be like this. Well so what? This is really grabby on your plates and beds and, and the plate. What material. are you going to put in one of these instead? Yeah, one of these good ones. Look at that, it's all rusted. Dude, this thing looks like it's. Rust there ain't nothing wrong with that one. Rust will go away, Dan. As soon as you use it, it'll go away. 
just like the clutch basket in here is rusty too. So we're going to go ahead and put our seal plate in. Now we want to make sure these go in nice and e easy. See how those are nice and easy going in, Dan? Yeah, they're tight. Yeah, they don't work for shit. Go grab me my brass punch out of my top drawer over there. Brass punch, one each. Top uh, right drawer. Yeah, I got it. Okay, now if you look down in here, Dan, you see the big gap right here? Yeah. And see there's no gap here. That stud needs to go this direction. First thing you do, you get the long ones to work. See how they work really nice? So now we got to work on the on the other ones to make them nice. So this one here is high. You just look at the air gap. Find the worst ones first. That's definitely a bad one. These two here need to go that way. So you just go like this and go boom, boom. still sucks, but we're working on it. Find the next worst ones. There's so many bad ones, it's hard to tell the good ones from the bad ones. Okay, those seem to be working. Awesome. That's for sure. Better when you get all the way in there. Okay, where's your worst one? So what makes the pins go out of line? Just make them around? Easy be banged around. Get those at the swap meet too? Yep. Got that whole clutch basket at the swap meet. See, now it's starting to work. Now if the studs are binding up, the clutch won't release correctly. It'll drag. So it's just a matter of working these things in. We're getting pretty close. It's getting harder to find the ones that are bad. <laughs> Surprised you haven't made like a. See how it's starting to go right in there, those, those two? I'm surprised you haven't made something up that you just stick it in there, beat it in, and everything lines back up. I don't know how you would do that. It actually works right now. There, see that? Drill out. A big old piece of freaking. See how it goes in and out, see that? Yeah. Okay. I do that. See how they say out? Let it go out. Let's see if these plates are any better. Yeah, not too bad. Another That's out. The way. That's the one you said. No, it is it? That's the one I put aside. 
Okay, I like to stagger where the fingers are at. Come on. Keep my fingers in the damn thing. I'll use that one there, so I'll use a dog on this one this time. That was just rusty. Fine. The break in. That's got a lot of rust in it. Yeah. A little break in compound. A little gouge there. Which one we got two from? One of these two? Which one's worse? This one's thicker. Right? We'll use this one. fat part of the hole matches the fat part of the hub. Goes right on. Alright. Now these are the 68 and up springs, Dan. The 41 springs are real short and heavy. I know they're for a foot clutch. Right. I put I put also, those long ones in there. They're also for a mouse trap. Which ones? The early spat springs. I won't use them. These springs you, didn't come out until You told 68. me that years ago. These didn't come out until 68. I know you told me years ago the uh the, uh, the long springs are the ones for the uh, for the uh, mouse trap, and the short, stubby ones are the ones for the foot clutch. Mm -hmm. But they use the same mouse traps. Use the heavy springs too. That's how the mouse trap works. Fuck that! It's the hand clutch that takes the light spring. Well, I'm also using these the, springs. Also, the five plate clutch takes a light spring. Unless you got a lot of horsepower, then you use heavier heavy springs. springs. Yeah. Is that on your side still? Of course. Now we're going to take the transmission down or we're going to do some more environment. i got to get the clutch uh, tension on here first so I can get the clutch basket where it's going to sit, then I can see what the chain's going to do. Go find my section scale for me. Okay, here's you know what I didn't here. see? The, the square things for these. It's for the battery that goes in there. I don't know how come it got unhooked. Oh, the nut? Yeah. It probably fell off. Those square ones. Okay, here's our adjuster here for our clutch arm. Yeah. So if you have it all the way back. Yeah, eighth inch. And wow, that changes a lot. That's as far as it goes is there. Right. So you kind of run about the middle. I thought you were only supposed to have an eighth inch play in the back. Eighth inch in the handlebar. You want this to be almost until it touches the cover and is fully engaged. Hmm. Hmm. Some stuff too. Yeah, like eight. You got a really long push rod in this thing. Huh? You got a real long push rod in there. Is that too long? As long as the cover clears it, I don't care. <clears throat> now, one out of 30 seconds here. It's easy where you start on these things. <clears throat> 31 30 seconds is your low number. If you want a light clutch, you, uh, you can run a 16. Now, being a knucklehead, there's no reason to pack this thing in a long ways. This one's got an inch right now here. It's a 16th. And this one down here. 16. See the 16th down there, Dan? I can't see it. The light's on already. It's on? Yeah. Well, now something else happened. Hmm? There, Fred, okay, there it goes. It's just charging again. What? There's something else came up on the screen. Uh, I don't know. It's got a red light on. It's filming. That's all that matters. So the distance between the backing plate here and the inside of the pressure plate is what we're measuring. Okay, after you get that in, then you work the clutch to see how this opens and closes. But for now, it's all the way in. Okay, so now we can check our chain. And we turn the motor over a little bit, we can see where the tight and loose is. Once you kick the motor through a little bit. You ready? Yeah, just push it through a little bit. It's got compression on it, so. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, that's a little bit looser there. Okay, go some more. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's probably our tight spot there. Okay, give some more. Looser, so keep going. Okay, 
Jack on. That's really loose. Look at that. that like a real big difference. Yeah, that's real loose. Okay. That's our tightest spot, I think. But it doesn't look like it needs to be tightened up much more. No, we're pretty good in this spot here. Yeah, that's, that looks pretty good right there. You want about a half inch of free play, and we're right there. Okay, let's lock this thing down, Fred. All right, tighten up the transmission to me. Let's see if it moves. <clears throat> oh, it's going to move once you tighten it, huh? We'll see how much it moves. It shouldn't move much because we got it pretty close to all of that already. Moving any? I don't see it moving. Shouldn't be really moving hardly at all, but you never know until you actually pull it all the way down. Put bolt up in there somewhere. No, it's not it. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's the one thing. Get ready to shut the damn plug out. No, 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 no. Still good. I'm getting on it. Is that freaking thing going on? I don't know. There it goes. Why is it loose? I must have stripped it. You stripped it? No. Oh. You gotta get mad if you strip Tighten. the bolt. Yeah, we're tightening it. There it is. Okay, now I'm gonna torque it. It's tight. Pretty tight already. And then the big one. Okay, you're going to do aluminum, so don't get too carried away up in there. Okay, that's pretty good. It didn't change any. Okay, we need to get our clutch arm on here. Okay, going to shut that off for a minute. Hmm? Come in the front. Okay. Now I need a little uh, crescent wrench or something to tighten this nut with. Little? Yeah, it should be on the workbench up there, as you know, the carburetor up there. Okay, this is our clutch uh, rod for our mousetrap. So we got a little shoulder bolt that goes up in here. So this just slips in through the slot and we'll pull it forward. Just gotta get behind this. Okay, looks like we were in front of it, maybe. There it was in front of it. There we go. In that position. Well, this whole lever's been bent in, if you look at it. Has it? Okay. Yeah. So, we got to make sure it clears this. So, I think what we need to do is we need to move this out just slightly so it's not so close. So, we'll try to bend that in a little bit. Big screwdriver. I need a little crescent wrench. Right there. Right there. Yeah, eight inch, ten inch, whatever. <laughs> it's over there. There it is. You mean the little in between the really big and the little one? Yeah, I need the in between the front. medium size crescent wrench. Fred, you're sweating. Okay, He's working too hard. So if you don't drink, you don't sweat. How old are you? How old are you? 55. Are you, oh, you're born 59? He's sweating. It's freaking hot and humid right now. He's. Uh, he doesn't drink enough. That's right. I don't drink enough to sweat. I've been drinking. You guys more. want a pizza? Okay, see what we did over here? Want to get a pizza? No, look. Pizza lighter. See how we bent that more straight? Yeah, yeah. So now the rod's on here. Rod's straight. What's pizza got to do with sweating? I just thought I'd ask. I'm ready for a pizza. <laughs> I'm hungry. Fred Fred is uh, not hungry. He's He wants to go play golf. He might stay for pizza if you ask him, actually. I'm hungry. I'm ready for eating eat some pizza. It's already 6 o'clock. Oh, my God. 
It's like lunchtime for you, ain't it? I was here until 2 this morning, so I started early. Yeah. Of course, I didn't go home at 2. I didn't stay at 2. I don't, I can't, I don't even have an answer to that. I figured 20 hours, 18 hours was enough yesterday. Yeah. Had a long enough day. Five hours in the desert. Where's my Loctite? Okay, we want Loctite that we can get off again, so we're going to use the medium blue, which is our light medium. Because someday we might want to get this off again. Now, if we're lucky, this will not lock up when we tighten it. Some freaking crazy lady called the house at 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah. So one morning to sleep in past any time. It wasn't me. I didn't call you at 6. 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm yakking with my wife. I'm like, why are you even talking to me? That's it. Some crazy lady called me. Like, there you go. Alright, is this thing going to work? It's rubbing on that. It's rubbing on that spring up front there. You mean that one right there that we've been over? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you bent in and. Looks I like how the rod's bending too. See how the rod bends right here when we flex it. Stupid peg. Yeah, sure. Something's wrong. Well, it's tight back here because you got this washer back in here. It's yeah, it's not letting it flex. It's not letting it bend correctly. So bend it like that a little bit to pre-bend it. it. Still bends it. It's still under a bowing condition. Oh, that's because it's hitting up in there. Yeah, it's it's hitting the spring, dude. Mm -hmm. I just said that two minutes ago. I'm straighten it. I think you pulled that thing in too much. Yeah, I went a little bit too far. I moved a quarter inch. I should only move an eighth of an inch. That's okay. We know how to do that. See, that's what they make multiple crescent wrenches for. Bending utensils. Still coming in. For some reason it's coming in on What's that. it coming in angle? Is that oh he's got that lever on there at an angle. Which lever? Your whole thing is sitting back, it should be forward. That's why it's binding everything. <laughs> it's your fault, Dan. Yeah, my fault. It's always your fault. This is bent back. It's your fault. Give yeah. me a double box wrench, but your fault. It's your fault. What size? Double box. Alright. Rod didn't have enough threads in it. Is it too short? I don't know. I've got a bunch of rods at home. Is that why this oh, yeah, I see what's back? going on. Yeah, you got the thing too wet. I see it's just pulled too far that way. It's Fred's fault now? It's my fault. It could be my fault. It's always my fault. See, it's supposed to be like that, Dan. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a piece of cake. Right. I had it working when I got it put it on. Is that straight there? <laughs> Is it, I, it was working when I put it on. It was working when you used it? Yeah. Bike wasn't working, but the clutch was working. The clutch worked, bike didn't work. Yeah. Okay, well, at least something worked. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that at the yard at the uh, swap meet too? Yep, $40. Pay for that mouse trap. That's a good price for a mouse trap. Paid uh, uh, $5 for that cover. Okay. This is what gap we got now. Now you gotta shorten up the uh, rod. Why is it still sticking though? Isn't it supposed to stick? The clutch isn't working. I'm looking at the uh, clearances on our shaft over here. I'm going to this over slightly more. It's clearing it, but it's not close. It's too close. Inch up here, see down. Yeah. You look up in here in the distance. Which, yes, you got all, you got an eighth inch of slot, not free play. That's okay. It's a Harley. Oh, yeah. see, what's, yeah. see what's going on now? Sweet. See, we're hitting against the cover here. Yeah, too far forward. Yeah. 
Let's see, move this back. Go back, adjust that nut. I think something moved over here. If I had it further back than this, you moved it. So we're just hitting the cover again. So you keep backing this up until you quit hitting the cover, is how you adjust these. Okay, see how this pressure plate went in? It's wobbling slightly. So we need less tension here. So if we put more tension on this side, we'll bring this out or you undo these two. So I think I'll do both. I'm going to knock that down one. And we'll knock these out one. See how this pressure plate is coming out more even now? Yeah. Well, the three-fingered one doesn't come out completely even anyways, does it? You get it pretty close. Getting pretty close. Five-fingered one, I know, comes out even. This one's a little bit too much on this back one. More tension. So you want to be able to release it like this. And then grab it. I think it works pretty good. We got a free play here. We got our free play up in here. Need to be tightened up some? No, it's pretty good. Is it? You got free play up here, see? Okay. We got free play in our in our cable. And we got free play in our throttle bearing. Should this be tightened up here? The lock nut should be tightened up. The lock nut should be tightened up, huh? It's all yeah. loose. That's a half thing. There you, there you go. Now try it. So you got a little bit of free play. See your free play up in here? Or is your eighth inch? Yep. And we can take some out if we want to. And we got our clutch free play back here. So this clearance is what we have on a rod to our clutch right here. So you have to have a clearance between the throttle mechanism in here, and then you got to have a clearance in your cable. There's two different clearances. So we got them both. Mm -hmm. Once you get that, you tighten that down. And this here, you can either leave it or take it out, whichever you want. And you lock this one down. Locks up right there. See my hand is right here now? Yep. Damn, finger. Camera. See, I got a finger between me and the handlebar. Okay. That's where the clutch just releases for this part. You see, it locks up right there. See, it's just right there, just locked right there. Okay. So I get all this room here. So that means this thing's going to let out about halfway out on your lever. About halfway okay. out is where it's going to be your sweet spot. Will be. Okay. And that's where I like to be at half to three quarter out. I don't like to be right next to the bar. I don't want to be way out. Yeah. But you, you can fine-tune that with your cable here, here. <laughs> By changing this free play here, it changes where this here comes in at. Okay. Dan, you got to follow the fingers. So you adjust the two things to get this to let out where you want it to be. Okay. This down here, you always want to make sure you got clearance here because if you run out of clearance here, your clutches will all start slipping because they'll be half-released on here. Okay. Okay, so we got our chain there. Now as you adjust this primary chain, we'll have to come back and do this. All you gotta remember is is you have about this much free play. Quarter inch? No, that's that's that's, that. that's only about an eighth of an inch really. Eighth inch? Because you pull that washer back right there and pull it forward, so you're only about an eighth inch there. Okay. Yeah. You can run it twice that if you want, but, yeah. but that's a good starting point. You gotta fine tune in how you want to ride the bike. Yeah, so this screw sticks out pretty far, but as long as that clears our derby cover, it's yeah, not I hope it clears the derby cover. Okay. All right, for now we're done with that, and we lock this nut down. This crescent. Let's go find our primary cover. Power cover's right there. 
Put it on the hardware. Run it down. Okay, ready. Oh, here. Okay, this thing's dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some chain lube on it just to get some lube on it. I don't know how long before it gets any. Oil on that tranny yet, too. Gotta yeah, put oil on the motor, too. Tranny and the motor. Okay. Don't lose that too far. I gotta do the rear chain. Put air pollution around here. Okay. Ooh, that's a custom permit cover. Look at that. Yeah. It's custom, isn't it? I'm sure it doesn't leak, you know. That's got a big dent in there. I wish you should knock that dent out of the way. You put that uh, thing on my hand, you know, right? Hmm? That big punch. The brass punch, you want that back? Yeah, a big piece of metal or that, one or two. Got a screw hole stripped out, I'm assuming? Or? No, I just don't have the screw for it. Yeah. I think it's in my other cover. I got another cover at home. It's, it's an original cover. I didn't bring it down here. Okay, hold that right there down, just so it sits flat. Pliers for that. Channel locks uh, probably the best. Okay, I think we got pretty well straightened back up. Cable back in there. Straighten up a loop a little bit. Not sure how that got damaged, but yeah, I probably did that. Something probably got dropped on it, is my guess. Petro touch to it. It's not like it really does anything. As long as it bolts on, doesn't drag. That's all I care about. Okay. Okay. Didn't hit on that, so that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. You got the dimple one? No, it's flat. Okay. Are you missing an ear on one of them? Yeah. Yes, he is missing one of the ears. He's missing a gasket right there too. Seems to be not in the right spot. If you do too much wiggling, it falls out. So, so you can't wiggle. Just put the damn thing on. Can't wiggle it. Wiggly wobbly. These holes are opened up a long ways. Are they too big? The screws go all the way through? I don't know. Oh, those holes too big? I don't know, I can't even find the damn hole. It's gonna go down lower. Now watch your foot. Ah, what's going on here? There's one that winds up. Still needs to go down some. Let me get one in. Go get at least one to start. Those are a bitch, man. I always hate putting those on. That one, then you can't even see the damn hole. Yeah, these other ones are all over the place. There's this one, that one needs to go back and up, and who knows where. Let me look out and you see in there. It's pretty close. Yeah, that one's pretty close now. Okay, I got two in. Yeah, this one lines up now. You 
definitely can't be in a hurry to get these on. All right. Now this one's starting to come in. These are all are starting to come in now. I got another cover at home. Yeah, this one's definitely not the best. I think I've got an original knucklehead one at home. They're all pretty much the same. Just a low one anyway, so it's like a knuckle. You don't yeah. need to get in here. So that one, there's no hole. That one's way low. So we get that tire in I got on the wall. Actually, give me that big one right there by your left side going by. Right behind the hose. Hmm? Five feet forward to your left. Right there by your knee. Oh, this one? Yep. So it should have said look down. Yeah, look down. Got it looks it. like a golf club, but it's different. <laughs> it hits a little differently. You need to get grip on it, though. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see if I get the right tool in there. A bar arm? Gonna do it? Oh, he's got to the spot where I need to be to. There we go. I'm gonna go back with my hammer. That ain't gonna help much. I don't know Can't even see it. This no one's not even close. But there's one back. Yeah, there's one back there too. That one I can almost get to. You can catch that one. Got one on the front? Yeah, there's one in the front and there's one underneath here. Yeah, well, with the footboard on there, you can't get to it because right behind yeah. it. Yeah. And the one in the front, there's no hole that I can see. Okay, I'll leave them out. Tighten it up and leave it out. Yeah, you know where it's, the prime is way too far forward to even begin to go into that one. Yeah, those are all extra ones. Got a couple on the top and a couple on the bottom. This yeah, one, right? yeah, that's good enough. Well, we got what uh, six out of ten. Yep, so that one sucked through. I knew that would. Going right through, huh? Yeah. There's just nothing there. You have to have a washer under there. Let's go find me a washer for to go under that. Yeah. Shove the screw right through it. 
you take the footboard off, you might be able to get that one to work. Okay. This one here, you can't even, even see the hole. Yeah, you can't get, can't see the hole. Grade eight, but that's the one that fits better than this other one. You get that one, and then you get that one that fits better. Well, that's a quarter inch, that's why. Hmm. You know, want another one of those? This one will work. So you got a thousand of those sitting in there anyhow. Yes, what the hell? Dan likes grade eight hardware on his bike. Yeah. <laughs> Bought so much extra things for this thing. Shit. Okay, those are all in there. Otherwise, it could go in or in, right? Yep. So you got with two extra screws. Okay. Put those in the package if they work. I'll them. put those in later. Yeah, I think you can just one in there probably, but like I said, I don't know. You have to the front of the primary cover. I'm assuming the hole is uh, the cover is bent in the inner cover. Yeah. And it's just the, it's the, still being a hole here. It's just like way out here, I guess. Yeah. You can't see it. Okay, let's move on to our rear chain, I guess. And that will conclude our primary install. Get this back in there. Jam it under there. Cut. Okay, I'm thinking that's too loose. What do you think? Might throw it. He said it's too loose for him. Need to make sure the tire lines up. There you go. I need a big crescent out to it. So you have to move the rock outside now? Well, I don't want to move. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm back to fifteen. What do you got? I'm still going. You want this straight? Is this straight now? I don't know where it is. Move it to 15. See what we got. Mm. Move my hammer out. Right. Three. Here's our tight, tight spot. spot. Mm. Real Let's tight. Let's just tighten up here at 10. Okay, mm. stop, stop. Give me a little small one. One, two, three, four, five. So you're 10 now. Mm. Okay, this should be at the same spot right now. Move forward. Hang on. Mine was, yeah, it wasn't 15. Let's see if you can find me a socket, whatever size that is. That axle's too short, huh? There's a lot of things wrong in here, but the axle's fine. The problem is this spacer back here is too long. Oh, it is? And that's why this nut's bottom down the side of this nut. Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't have all the washers that go on it. Two. 
dressing or a ratchet. Okay. Where's that right here? Yeah, but this one goes with this. Right there. This one goes with this. It's foreign junk. I don't use that. Alright, what do we got here in our chain? There's all kinds of bins in this chain there. Chain goes like this, it goes down, step straight, pull. Where's our front wheel on this bike? Can't even see the front wheel. Move that blue bucket out of the way. Gonna pull the jack out. The right side's way too far back. That's what we said before. I said that before. You said it before. It should have been moved before. No, I said it before, a long time before, that this damn thing needed to be adjusted. It should have been moved. Oh, hmm? It should have been moved. Don't give me a tape measure. Put a radio over here. I think I said that when we first lifted this off the ground. I don't know if I'm going to fire it. Fire rock. Hmm? Tire to rock. Forward. Tire to rock. Fred, what? Tire to rack. Biggest part or the rim. Take your choice. Eight inches. From where? From the rim. Okay, come over here and give me eight inches. We're more than eight back here. Nine. One more. I'm going to leave on mine, remember? Yep. Eight. Okay. We just center the bike up on the rack so two tires are now offset correctly. So now we look at the eyeball to see where our tire is at. And right now we need to come backward on this about two flats. Turn it 180, let me see what we got. 180? Yeah, I moved up a bunch. Okay. What a shocker. Got one more on the side. Okay. That's about the right clearance. It is a new chain, so it's going to break in, but. Tighter than that. That's tight enough, even with a new chain. Okay, that's tight. You're gonna have to probably get a socket down to do this. Yeah, to do that with. Which is a one and seven sixteenths. Okay, one and seven sixteenths. Maybe your car guy friend has one. Okay. It's pretty hard to get in here with a ratchet because you got this yeah, in the way or yeah. this is framed in the way. This okay. we can tighten up pretty easy. Lock her down. Nine sixteenths. adjusters are even more or less now when you ride the bike you let go of the handlebar and see the bike goes straight and you know for sure the tires not straight so I know it's not gonna go straight well, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, take your fingers out you <laughs> <laughs> don't want care about the front end as long as the bike goes straight so right now we did we just kind of eyeball down the bike here and you can see how the tire that front sidewall there is about even with the bike looking forward and that's what we were looking at you can also look up over here under the chain, 
and you look down your chain line, and if the chain line is going straight, like this one's looking pretty close, then you know you're pretty good. If you roll it around and look at it, you can watch it. If it's got a curve in there, if the chain has a curve in like that, then the wheel no needs problem. to go straight to make it yeah. straight again. So anyway, so that's how you do all that. It actually might go straight now. So, yeah, it might, huh? <laughs> except for the wobbling tire, it should be fine. The wobble tire up front. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put some chain lube on this. So here, I gotta do the lube chain. Box I had right here. Want to put the buffer on? Uh, why was it off? I think we're done with it, aren't we? Yeah, we're done with it. We had to, we had to do that. So. Okay. I always put the chain lube on the inside, and I do one row, and then the other row. I think we're out of chain lube here. There it goes. Okay. Got a chain goes up and down. That's always nice. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Take that one hand. Okay. At the end of the can, I'll put the rest of it over here. You always want to flip the can loop, can upside down, chain loop that plugs up the tube up inside. Mm. Now our box oh, is full paint. of chain loop and under rock. Okay, so that's it for that. 